Okay, boys and girls out there in fake rock land, Mr. D here in the rock pile. We've already added this to around that rebar uh, structure we had here, which is just a, one piece of rebar. I mean, you know, a grid of rebar with chicken wire. We built that up, and that's going to separate the water and get this much to come out and then divert over our uh, slide tunnel structure and dump into the pool there. Some of it's going to be diverted over here and go down that little crack which some of you have seen on the other videos uh, between these two big boulders and drop inside the grotto, which was a little trick, never done that before. And so <clears throat> what we're trying to do is just uh, take care of the, gr the rough shotcrete day stuff. We're trying to fill in the little voids. You can see places where there's chicken wire here. And here it can go even farther into uh, places where there's rebar and stuff. You can see a little rebar here that's exposed and kind of a good thing in the in a days afterwards it starts to go brown a little bit so it lets us know it's there this thing is so multifaceted and multi you know textured and ins and outs you know you got holes in here stuff down in here and uh so we go about filling things up this way as you may recall was a big hollow spot where the burlap had dropped through so we filled that all up uh, we put burlap inside, pulled it tight, and then we packed in concrete mixed with a little bit of speck. That just makes it a little stickier. And we're working our way down from the top down. I'll walk over up here. And so you can see a little bit of that. It's kind of making it a little more rocky, you know, with cracks and fissures. And this is all going to be waterproofed and textured again. So that's going to give us a, <coughs> a nice uh, foundation. We're also building everything up again to get the coverage we want over these little spots here and there there's probably um, uh, spots where the rebar might be pretty close so we're going to build everything up these stones are going to go up these this one's already started this was exposed rebar so we covered that one and we went ahead and cream coated that whole perimeter of the pond area so that's going to all get Aquablock XL, everything's good Aquablock XL. That's the penetrating waterproofer product. And then after that, mirror coat membrane C. That's the little diverter section that's gonna take this three horsepower, three inch valve feed with a very nice wide weed and dumps, <laughs> weed, weir, <laughs> and dump that into this side diversion trough, which will guide it into this big pond. So it'll be like a water sprout Spout, not a sprout, Dave. Yeah, it's late in the day. And uh, filling, helping to fill that up. I've also got a valve that directs, redirects some of the uh, the uh, slide water. So we throw some stuff on out of the bucket. I knew, I noticed there was some rebar in here, so we want to get something going on that's going to allow. Uh, protection over the steel and this is like a, a cream coat thing that's just also we can start doing some of our rock work stuff hold the camera Dave in the right place um, I noticed this wall was getting thin with chicken so I'm gonna beef that up with a good inch of this sorry guys <laughs> look at what I'm doing not what the camera is showing and um, get this guy built up and you got the big, big spreaders, which are nice. Again, we're, we're adding water. We're adding water. We're <laughs> and if I'm going to make it through this, we're adding uh, mortar mix over everything. It has tons of seek add mix in it. Aquablock or acrylic. Uh, my brain's not working. Um, Acryl 60, thank you very much, is um, something you can use. It's more expensive. It's thicker. And I just grabbed the stuff from um, Home Depot. It's called Sika by a manufacturer called Sika, and uh, and so it's it's a good acrylic add mix to put into your mixes. And you can hear the material is right there underneath. I'm gonna put a little crack in this little guy, this little rock up here. This again is gonna be receiving that whole area up there. It's going to be pouring down into this space. I want to create a, a wall of uh, block uh, block that will create a pond in here, and then it's got a pinch point. So it'll empty all the way, but it will also be 
um, letting the water fill up in there and then take that energy which comes flying off there and go into a pond which will help reduce the uh, the amount of splash because we don't want this thing just splashing everywhere so it's sort of like uh, putting icing on a cake you just put the little facets here and there and again it depends on the type of rocks that you're building um, this is going to again just be sort of little mini terraces put little cracks where you can you can worry about that to some degree now or you can wait till later Again, this whole wall was so you can see the chicken wire right there it might even be a piece of rebar so we're going to really thicken that up and we're coming back we're going to add more uh, so i think i'll the people i've heard people say well show us what you do don't just show us what you did so all righty then here you go let's show us what he's doing Okay, <clears throat> be careful if you don't have glasses, it will splash in your face. Oh. Sitting down, I had a kidney biopsy today, earlier today, so I just can't get away from it. I just love making rocks. And uh, so my tummy's a little sore, but show must go on, right guys? Um... So we got getting better coverage there. So sometimes you can kind of see spots that might make a nice and interesting thing. And so you you try them and then you use your little rocko meter in your head. Does that look like a rock and a nice crack or does that look kind of stupid? And sometimes it look kind of stupid get the camera back and sometimes it's pretty cool and again you don't want to get too many cracks because the, we're needing to waterproof this whole thing so let's see if I can alright knock off half the stuff if you throw it kind of thick then it goes on if you throw it too hard it Splatters off. If you don't throw it hard enough, it doesn't stick. So you gotta play around with it a little bit. So a little bit of live action on the rock pile. I've got uh, this is pure mortar with nothing else, but we're thickening up everything. We started that crack, so let's see if that. Looks good going on. It's good to work it in. And get that stuff to stay better. You want it to stay, you know? Now my foot is bent the wrong direction. Oh, oh there we go. Alright, I'm going on quite a ways here. Quite a while here, guys. So anyway, I think you get the idea. Just keep throwing it on there. Whatever you make is probably going to be pretty cool. It's probably going to splash around pretty interestingly and uh, do some nice effects. Put it in. Put it in the TV range so they can see it too. And uh, just like buttering up a cake, guys. That's all there is to it. Alrighty. Some people in my videos have said, you talk too much. Yeah, that's true. There's no debate on that. I, I think I do. But after we've done something, we want to talk about what we did. So that's kind of the idea. I don't have a, a budget to hire a whole film crew to uh, follow me around doing stuff or, or our team. So. I got to uh, I gotta hold the trial here and try and do it with you guys watching. <laughs> Go away, fly. If flies are bugging you, by the way, if you get up close to them and then blow on like, 
they go tumbling in there and, and I think it actually gets rid of flies <laughs> a little bit oh uh, yeah all right so you kind of see this little spillway zone doing the same thing up here around the corner here and we're just trying to get it so it can be waterproofed uh, in a pretty good efficient fashion so a little bit of cracking is okay but you want to try and make it so you don't make a spot there that wouldn't allow for the uh, uh, stuff to get through uh, <clears throat> let's see here let's just see what that looks like all right so that's <clears throat> nice little crackage release the crack in i like to say sometimes all right i'm rambling all right Ugh. the last little morsel of stuff over here and i got a little bucket i'm gonna find a spot for that hold the camera where people can see it all right so there you go mr dave plastering on the pre-waterproofing texture coat just trying to get all the ins and outs and holes and cavities covered especially the rebar that's a little spot where rebar is so you want to get rid of that stuff and uh, protect you know thicken it up and then waterproof everything and we're going to then spray a texture coat on it and and be good to go so anyway mr dave on the rock pile <coughs> getting ready to finish up for a friday and uh coming along it's a little bit a little a little bit at a time so hope you're having a good day out there and uh being nice to one another and there's something in the way oh there it is yeah there was a little video that i haven't turned off anyway god bless you guys hope you're having a great day remember to go to davehenderson.podia p-o-d-i-a davehenderson.podia.com and uh, uh i'll let you see my mug um davehenderson.podia.com for uh, how we do this stuff lots of free downloads and videos you can check out it's about uh, 15 feet down to the bottom there don't fall in pool while working and uh, www.davehenderson.com for uh, blogs and links to other platforms and be kind to one another as I said uh, give someone a hug tell someone you love them uh, make someone smile or laugh if you can. Take off the face mask as often as possible. We need to see our faces, our humanity. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, hang in there, guys. Don't be afraid. The Bible says 365 times, be not afraid, don't be afraid, or something of that sort. So uh, it's hard to do now, for sure, with all the stuff that's spinning out of control, it seems. But in any event, uh, you still want to try not to worry about it. Uh, God above... And everywhere is uh, not surprised of anything. He knows what's coming. He, she, the it or them. It's not a he or a she, but he seems to be the popular vernacular uh, in some cases. So I call him he. What the heck? And um, he's not surprised by any of it. He knows how this thing is going. He knows what's going to happen. And there's a plan. And you want to get Jesus in your heart because he's coming back to take home his family, his, uh, his uh, bride, the church. And that's us. That's you and me. He... Uh, came to give everybody a way to get cleaned up and get in to be in the presence of the Father who is perfect and you need to be perfect and God gives us that he gives us our forgiveness he cleans us up so Jesus is the way the truth and the life as the book says so anyway God bless you guys uh, hope you're having a good day hang in there I'm hanging in there uh, sometimes a minute at, a minute at a time <laughs> but you just got to do it all right, guys, God bless you. We'll see you next time on The Rock Bottom. Mr. Dave checking out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.